Hello, so this is a short video about alignment tools. First, let's take a look at Inkscape. There's this fabulous align and distribute panel on the side where you can automatically click or easily click for a bunch of different ways to align and distribute in various ways. So you can center all vertically or horizontally. Uh, however, you'll notice that all the, the options here are either all on a vertical line or horizontal line or distributing on a vertical or horizontal line with the exception of the random. So there's a couple little oddballs there, but it's, mostly it's just vertical or horizontal. Frequently, I want to take a bunch of objects and align them to a path. So I want to take all those things and put them along a path. That's not really very easy to do. So kind of in answer to that, I've been developing an alignment tool that's perhaps someday I'll, I'll not be lazy and port it to Inkscape or something. But in the meantime, it will be appearing in laid out in, in a version coming up pretty soon. So here is the alignment gadget here. There's a, a snap direction and a layout direction. So I, when the circle is red, that means no alignment is applied. So if you click on it, it becomes green, and that means there is active alignment going on. So everything is snaps down to this layout line in the snap direction. Uh, so this, if you want it all sitting on the line, you do that. If you want it below, you just drag it like that. Uh, you can also do a sort of a proportional alignment where you, it's all distributes proportionally to its original position, which can be useful in some circumstances. So let's go back to the normal alignment. Uh, that's the snap align, and that's not doing anything special in the layout direction. So now it gets a little more interesting fussing around with the layout direction. So for instance, you can uh, align randomly. So you can click on these question marks to reshuffle the alignment in between these bounds. So you can change these bounds and then reshuffle and then it distributes between those bounds. Or you can do a sort of a grid align where it's every, the object centers are spaced all along the line and you can change the bounds and interactively redistribute. And you can still change the alignment as you go. Uh, but you don't have to be just horizontal like that. You can be any sort of curve at all and still do the, the alignment vertically, all kinds of different directions. But where, where it gets really interesting is if you click on the line, you can edit the path. Uh, so there are still some bugs I'm working out, but you can see you can edit the path and then go back to here. And then you can let's move this sort of out of the way so you can get a better view. So now you t you can kind of see everything's on the path now, and you can change the alignment as it relates to the path. Uh, for one common usage is for a circle. So if you uh, make a circle like that, let's close that path and shrink the circle down a little bit, and go back here and just so now you have all these objects aligned around a circle. Then you can take the alignment bar and, and kind of move things around like that. Uh, there are many other uh, layout options planned but not quite implemented, like uh, laying out with a certain amount of gap in between and then uh, just click and drag the gap to resize the gap. But that's not quite implemented. This is just kind of a preview. So if you're interested in this sort of tool, uh, have keep an eye out for the next version of Laid Out.